So about three months ago, um, I was in my living room. I got a phone call, a random phone call. Um, there are people who watch my YouTube videos that find my phone number, they call me, they have questions, which is totally awesome. And I've met a lot of amazing people that way. But I got another phone call. His name uh, was Jerry and from Tucson, which is about two and a half hours from my house. And he said, hey Bryce, he's like, I've been watching your video. And uh, he's like, I see you're using the CR Spotless. He's like, I'm sure that that's getting really expensive. And I was like, yeah, it's absolutely getting really expensive. And he's like, I've got a better way that you can do that. He's like, where you can make as much spot free water as you want. Um, obviously that intrigued me. I'm in the detailing business and the heart of my operation is water. Everything's centered around water. Anyways, Jerry, <laughs> my buddy says, hey, listen, I've got a system. He's like, I've been in the water business my entire life. I've been on this journey to find spot free water and, and how to produce it in a cost effective way. And he's like, how about you come over to Tucson and I'll show you, I'll show you um, how this works. Guys, I can't tell you how grateful I am for that phone call. Today's video has been literally three months in the making. I've been chasing down this goal to create an endless amount of spot free water without breaking the bank. And I've just done it. And I've got to tell you, I just feel so grateful, so humbled that people are out there like Jerry who are willing to call people like me who notice something like a problem, okay? And he calls it out in the, like, in the nicest way. Um, and I've been working on this. I've been sourcing all the products and it's finally done. Now, before I show you what's behind this wall, because that's the secret sauce, what I'm gonna show you today, first of all, is something that I'm gonna do to my CR Spotless. I'm gonna take the cartridges off and I'm gonna replace the innards, which is a plastic resin cartridge. With VI resin should be able to fill, be filled from the bottom all the way up to the top without being in a plastic cartridge. There is headspace going down the side of that drum that is not being used. So I've got a conversion kit that I purchased from RV Mods where I'm gonna chuck those plastic cartridges, I'm gonna fill it up with resin, and then I've got these custom poles that will go from the top down to the bottom and that will yield me approximately 40% more life out of my DI resin. So let's get to that first. Stay tuned guys and hang in there. This is gonna be a good one. cool that looks. Beads of gold. That's what DI resin looks like for those of you that were that were curious. Pretty pretty dang cool. It's kind of like um, it's like sand but they're all beads and they're electrically charged to pull all the crap that's in your water to pull it out.
All right, these tubes right here are the mod kit that I will post a link for on rvmods.com. But these little tubes with the O-ring are gonna fit, let me show you, right up in that gasket right here, okay? So that way when the water comes down, it's penetrating the whole entire tube, the whole thing from top to bottom. Whereas these guys, we're only getting inside of that plastic and there was still probably about that much room of headspace on the inside. Crazy. This mod will yield you 40% more DI resin, which will obviously give you more spot-free water. This mod is a no-brainer. You want to make sure those are really tight because these head gaskets they do require a lot of pressure to keep that seal nice and snug this is my tap water out of my house and just to show you how hard the water is here in arizona i'm going to take a sample of this all right there we go this right here is a tds meter we're going to turn this guy on and in real time, let me show you what this reads. Four, three, 398 parts per million. Look at that. 382 parts per million is my tap water. Now, let me show you how I scrub my tap water to come out zero, zero, zero on the other end. All right, you guys, so welcome to the Suds and Go water manufacturing plant that I have inside of the back of my six by 10 trailer. Now, a lot of guys, if they wanna increase their production of DI water, do you know what they do? They go out and they buy bigger tanks. Some of these tanks can be five feet tall with a circumference of like two feet. They're massive. And sure, it'll put out more deionized resin, but do you know how much space that takes up? I mean, unless you have a garage in your house, okay, great. But if you're a mobile guy, that doesn't work. With the help of my buddy, Jerry from Tucson, again, Jerry, I can't thank you enough, is we've created our own water system called the Rody System by Suds and Go that uh, has now, I'm gonna just kind of high level go over this with you and tell you how it works, okay? We're scrubbing the water. The trick to making your DI resin last longer is to reduce the TDS, okay? Reduce the parts per million that's hitting that resin. Because when I put 400 TDS through that resin, it's sucking the life out of it very, very quickly. That's why it will only last 300 gallons. So pretend for a minute, if I was able to take that 390, I think we were at 398 is what I just showed you. And we brought that down to, let's call it nine. And then we're putting nine TDS instead of 400 TDS into that DI. Can you now see how that would stretch and last much longer? That's very easy to comprehend. You take total dissolved solids, okay, that parts per million, from 400 down to nine, you're causing your DI resin to work less. Does that make sense, guys? And so that's what's allowing it to stretch longer. So here's what we have is a sediment filter and a carbon block. Okay, sediment, carbon block. Going through, these pressure meters are just to tell me when I need to change my filters because when that bar goes down, it means my water output is slowing down, which tells me that my filters are getting clogged or they're not working as efficiently as they used to. So feed, coming in, feed, going out, coming down, going into an RO membrane housing. Another pressure gauge to tell me where I'm at with PSI.
flush valve. This allows me to set my water pressure to where I need it to go. And then this right here feeds into my DI reservoir, okay? This feeds into my DI reservoir. Once it hits my DI system, you're now looking at zero parts per million, which is what you want when you're washing cars. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank this system on and I'm gonna show you how this thing works. And the best part about this, guys, it takes up hardly any space and it looks super awesome. And I'm so sorry I'm sweating, guys. I've been out here testing this thing all day and it's finally dialed into a point where it's ready to rock and roll. So uh, guys, I'm just super pumped. I am super excited. This is, uh, this is a dream come true of mine to have an endless amount of spot-free water. It's just crazy. I mean, I'm gonna be able to spray down anything and everything I want. Uh, I'm gonna be able to fill up my water buckets with spot-free water. I'm gonna be able to fill up my steamer with spot-free water. Soap should stretch longer and I should be able to use less because, because soap in water that has zero parts per million, there's more lubricity. That's pretty freaking cool. Um, it's just a total game changer. I'm just super pumped and excited for this. And it all fits on a little four foot section of wall that I built right here. And the depth of this is maybe a foot and a half. So for mobile guys like me, oh my gosh, I'm not hauling around huge tanks. And uh, now I don't have to rely on anybody. This is my system. If uh, you know a company goes bankrupt and I was buying my DI resin from them or they were renting me a system, guess what? I don't care because I now own my own system. I'm not reliant on anybody but myself. That's pretty dang cool. All right, guys, let's flip this thing on and let me show you how it works. I've got two different ways that I can feed power to this system. I can either go and plug into my customer's electrical outlet at their house or I can run a jumper cable into my generator. Regardless, I can make my own power through my generator or use my customers. So let's go ahead and flip this switch on and you will hear what I think is just the coolest sound for my water system. Here we go. You hear that guys? That right there is the sound of spot-free water being made. Pretty dang cool. Uh, the way I've got this plumbed right here is this is going from my DI directly into my tank. And you can see right there, it's filling up with spot-free water. And here's how I know. I've got a TDS meter. Let me take my phone out. And what this is going to tell me is on line one, that's the water leaving my sediment filter and carbon block. I went from 385 at the tap to 284 coming out of my carbon block and my sediment filter. Line two is coming out of my RO. Look at that, guys. I went from 285 down to 10 parts per million of total dissolved solids coming out of the RO. That 10 ppm is going into my deionized resin. Line three is the water coming out of the resin. We are at zero parts per million. Zero, zero, zero. That right there is the optimal range to wash a car. All right guys, apologies for the noise of my generator, but I have to have it on when I'm to, to feed the water to my exterior faucet. There's a pump to attached to it. So anyways, this is where I go to fill up my water buckets when I'm cleaning tires, washing a car. So to show you how, uh, what the end result is after the water feeds through the entire system, the tank is now filled with perfectly clean water at zero, zero, zero parts per million. So if I take a sample of this water, here we go, and we take our TDS meter, 
let me let me show you this. Okay, here we go. Uh, there we go. We're gonna put that in the water, and we are still at zero zero zero. And just to reset this, we're gonna turn it back on, put it back in the water just to reset it. There it is, zero, zero, zero. Pretty dang awesome. All right guys, I'm gonna have to wrap up this video. The landscapers just showed up at the neighbor's house, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, when I started this channel, I wanted to show you guys stuff that you've never seen before. And I'm really trying to stick to that the best that I can as I'm starting my own business and trying to find out ways to optimize and be unique and be different and set myself apart from the entire crowd. Because trust me, there's a big crowd of detailers out there. I'm trying to do stuff differently. But if you liked this video, will you do me a favor? Give me a thumbs up, smash that button. It's super easy. Just smash the button, hit the like, subscribe to my channel. Guys, thank you so much for all of your support. Um, I can't thank you enough. All right, guys, that'll do it. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now. Thank you.